All right, how's it going, everybody? Let's continue on in Romans, the explanation of the fairness of God choosing his before the foundation of the world. No free will. Jesus opens doors, no man shuts, shuts doors, no man opens. Can't come to the Lord unless Jesus said, you cannot come to me unless the Father which have sent me draws you. Uh, we know from Romans 8, 29 and 30, it's a calling that is predestinated for the foundation of the world through Ephesians 1, 4 and 5, which is what grace is. Uh, it's not of any free will decision unless you boast of anything you've done. It's a free gift. And the truth is not taught anywhere because your world is Catholic. That's why you celebrate Christmas, birthdays, Easter, every bit of it. Of course, in the grace. Ephesians 2, 8, 9, and 10, they never give you verse 10 where it says, for we are created in Christ Jesus unto the good works which God hath before ordained that we walk in them. So, created in Christ Jesus before the foundation of the world, uh, ordained before the foundation of the world. That's Ephesians 2, 8, 9, and 10, grace. But if you back it up a, a chapter, Ephesians 1, 4, and 5, um, it tells you that you were chosen in him before the foundation of the world. <clears throat> in Revelation 17, 8, it says whose names were not written in the book of life from the foundation of the world. So goats are goats from the foundation of the world. Sheep are sheep before the foundation of the world. But before you buy into a fake, false, pagan once saved always saved uh hyper grace religion understand that in the truth which you won't find in any church or any man-made religion and it's understood in the spirit through his word that you are called i lost my train of thought but you're called to that repentance it's a calling you must have the holy spirit put his law in your inward parts which is jeremiah 31 31 through 34 the new covenant and especially 33 and 34 man doesn't teach man to know the lord man can't do it man can't bring man through the repentance process man can tell man to accept jesus and man will go i accept jesus but they won't ever repent. They'll never be pulled through that process. Faith without works is dead. You must show the works. You must bear fruit. That's John 15, bearing fruit for salvation. You're not saved through your works. You're not saved by, um, because you bared fruit. You're saved because Jesus chose you before the foundation of the world. That's grace. So let's continue on with the fairness of it and that he might make the riches of his glory on the vessels of mercy sheep, which had a four prepared unto glory, a four prepared. Yes. Before the foundation of the world, Ephesians one, four and five, even us whom he have called. That goes back to previous chapter to Romans eight, 29 and 30, the calling not of Jews only, so not of the bloodline remnant only, but also of the non-bloodline remnant. As he have said also in Osi, I will call them my people, which were not my people, non-bloodline, and her beloved, which was not beloved. And it shall come to pass that in the place where it was said unto them, ye are not my bloodline, there shall there shall they be called children of the living God. Esaias also crieth concerning Israel, the bloodline, though the number of the children of Israel be as sand of the sea, a remnant shall be saved. Well, when is the remnant saved? That's told to you in Romans 11. So two chapters from now, especially Romans eleven twenty nine. Um, I would not, brethren, wish that you be so wise in your own conceits that blindness in part has happened to the 
true bloodline um, remnant of Israel all the way up until the fullness of the Gentiles become in. And that's when the last non-bloodline gets called to Christ, probably at the abomination that causes desolation. And at that moment, the bloodline will be awakened, the remnant, and that they then will uh, see the abomination and they will flee Judea. Apparently, some of that bloodline remnant is in the land of Israel. They have nothing to do with that political Zionism over there. For he shall finish the work and cut it short in righteousness, because a short work will the Lord make upon the earth. And as Isaiah said before, except the Lord of Sabaoth had left us a seed. We had been as Sodom and been made like unto Gomorrah. What shall we say then that the Gentiles which followed not after righteousness, in other words, they weren't Torah keepers, have attained to righteousness, even the righteousness which is of faith. Faith comes by what? Hearing, and hearing by the word of God, it says. And of course, the word of God is Jesus, and Jesus said, my sheep hear my voice. So your faith comes by hearing Jesus and getting called through that process. But the bloodline which followed after the law, the Torah laws of Moses of righteousness, have not attained to the law of righteousness because they do not accept Jesus at this time. They are without. They are uh, simply Torah keepers the best they can. Wherefore, because they sought it not by faith, because, in other words, they sought after salvation, but never got the call. Remember, it's a calling. Faith without works is dead. True faith is the walk. It's the Lord calling you all the way through the repentant process. But as it were, were written by the works of the law, for they stumbled at that stumbling stone, which is the law. She can't keep the law for salvation. They tried to keep the law. You can't do it. Let's go to Daniel 9, Romans 9, Daniel 9. Neither have we hearkened unto thy servants, the prophets, which spake in thy name to our kings, our princes, and our fathers, and to all the people of the land. O Lord, righteousness belongeth unto thee, but unto us confusion of faces as at this day to the men of judah and the inhabitants of jerusalem and to all israel that are near and that are far off to all the country whether they have been driven out because of their trespass and they have trespassed against you O lord to us belong with confusion um, of face to our kings to our princes to our fathers because we have sinned against you O lord to the Lord our God belong mercies and forgiveness, though we have rebelled against you, O Lord. Neither have we obeyed the voice of the Lord our God to walk in his laws, which he set before us by his servants, the prophets. Yea, all Israel has transgressed by the law, even by departing that they might not obey thy voice. Therefore, the curse is poured upon us and the oath that is written in the law of Moses, the servant of God, because we have sinned against him. And he have confirmed his words, which he spake against us and against our judges that judged us by bringing upon a great evil for under the whole heaven have not been done as have been done upon Jerusalem. Yeah, because they were taken captive by Babylon and and the Medes and the Persians and so forth. So it seems like the, the bloodline of Jesus which would be the bloodline it was explained to us earlier um, I think we read it right at the beginning of Romans Nine. 
bringing it up in the New Living Translation. Unending grief for my people, my Jewish brothers and sisters, I would be willing to forever be cursed and cut off from Christ that, that the uh, Jewish people would be saved. They are the people of Israel chosen to be God's adopted children. God revealed his glory to them. He made covenants with them and gave them his law. He gave them the privilege of worshiping him, receiving his wonderful promises. Isaac, Abraham, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob are their ancestors, and Christ himself was an Israelite as far as human nature is concerned, and he is God. The one who rules over everything and is worth the eternal praise. Amen. We didn't read this, see, in the uh, New Living. Well, then, God has failed to fulfill his promise to Israel. No, for not all who were born of the nation of Israel are truly members of God's people. That we read. We went over the New Living to make sure we were understanding what we we're reading. Being descendants of Abraham does not make them truly Abraham's children. For the scriptures say, Isaac is the son to whom your descendants will be counted. Though Abraham had other children too, this means that Abraham's physical descendants are not necessarily children of God. Only the children of the promise are considered Abraham's children. For God had promised, I will return about this time next year and Sarah will have a son. This son was our ancestor Isaac. <laughs> when he married Rebecca, uh, excuse me, Rebecca, she had given birth to twins. But before they were born, before they had done anything, okay, and then that gets into that. And not as though the word of God have taken none effect, they are not all Israel, which are of Israel. What I'm wondering is. If you do not know the son, you do not know the father. But if I do, though ye believe not me, believe the works that ye may know and believe that the Father is in me and I am him. That's not what I was looking for. Hang on, let me try to search for it. Whosoever denieth the Son, which are Torah keeping only Jews, the same have not the Father. But he that acknowledged the Son have the Father also. So my question is, is the remnant that is saved, their ancestors that died not believing in Jesus, even though they were part of the bloodline, are they sheep? And I went through that in the Romans 11 study, if I'm not mistaken, where it talks about Israel being saved, but of course it's talking about the remnant. And so we will try to go back and try to remember uh, 1 John 2.23 and try to remember, I'll write it down first. John 2.23. And that way, when we get to it, let's remember this. When we get down to Romans 11, we're still in Romans 9 right now. So anyway, I love you all very much. Ask questions anytime.